Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin with episode number six of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Bobby Bookout. Here is the whiskey and beer number three. We'll see about it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so how much stuff do you have on your phone that's ready to go? Oh, not that's ready to go, I need to finish right. writing. Okay, but well, you it's more than eight, right? In seriousness, what we'll do is we're just, I'm not, you know, I hate the pressure of it all, so I'm, I'm just gonna keep making art and putting it out. And then once we have enough songs, once I have 10, 12, 14 songs, I will probably then, even though I released it all, pull it all, put it all on CD and release physical copy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you gotta we're still here, I'll buy the crap out of it. Um, so, we're gonna take a little pause. Oh, and yeah. you can pass this over oh. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna choose the next one. All right, thanks, sir. What um, that's yours. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. God. I'm gonna See, take the little piece He's all, yes. he's all like, he's all, he's all, he's all boxed like, like a beer and a half, and a, I'll smell the whiskey. And, okay, I'm done. I have to, I'm coming home, baby. <laughs> yeah. So oh, why y'all are that. why y'all are taking a break? Um, Dude, I know you were going back to you know going back to Crazy Springs, uh, where you grew up in. Mm -hmm. So when did you start playing? Actually, that's one of our internet questions. Yes. Okay, I know this is such a cliche answer because everybody says this, but it's the same thing for me. I start singing in the church. It goes way oh. back. No, but that's that's not a cliche. My, that's a great answer. My, my grandpa was a pastor in a Methodist church, and my grandma used to love praying. My brothers and I, or any of the grandkids, <laughs> on stage, and so we he was all over the yeah, stuff. And the bookout family is so small. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, but we would go to these new churches, and hang around, like get on stage, and we'd sing songs. Anyway, and then uh, I mean, I was in choir uh, in, in church part. Uh, I didn't do the school part thing, but. Uh, Singing choir in church, and I just probably, that's probably why you actually can sing and haven't been ruined by. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but and, and I grew up in old school churches where it was like old hymns, and you know, just not music like that anymore. They're not music that's being written like that anymore. So uh, anyway, that's where I started, and then I just sort of always knew it's what I wanted to do. I have vivid memories from I think probably being like six or seven. I mean, where I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be a singer. How old's your oldest son? Right now? My oldest kid's five, so, so he's. Right close around to age. be that age. Both, to those be... Kids, both of those kids are musical. And really? Yeah. That's awesome. It. That's freaking awesome. I'm not just saying that. I promise they are. No, no. <laughs> and and uh, at, at this, this at B, the second album, the CD release party, that was just a week ago, whatever, both of the boys were there. Yeah. It was super nice to see them there. And they were really excited. Brody was loving it. Brain was kind of like, I'm five. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to play. But, you know, <laughs> they, uh, I love those kids. They're they're awesome and they're both super musical and brains a badass little chess player. It slowly became a, a, a thing and like I said, it wasn't really the big turning point for me was uh, my stepdad Mark, who oh I, I don't remember to. you talking about this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, Mark, sorry, Mark has, has has always had a thing about you know being a little cynical or whatever, and he was sort of the last person I expected to, to tell me. I, I decided on South Plains. I was going to go there. Mm -hmm. Because it just fell out of place, and then it was, and then it got real scary real quick. Because it was like, okay, I could I could go to South Plains, I could do music because they have this phenomenal commercial music program, but it's also in Podunk, and I could go do ag business really or ag science really easy out there. And and, and yeah. at that point in my life, I was like, that just seems like it's a. I'd always been in ag growing up, and I was like, that's the one thing I could. Uh, I've back never off. been. Yeah. A good, I've never. I was never good in school at all. Uh, and I was like, I know I do this. I'm in animals, whatever. Uh, and it, Mark was like, if you don't do this, if you don't. And that's you your stepdad telling you, you don't. Yeah, if you don't try this out, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. And, 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 and that's, uh, it was yeah. big. And Mark you know, was a great singer and and uh, also very musical. And so he, I was like, well, cool. If you're endorsing it, then let me do that. So I did it. And and the back was one of the best choices I've ever made. I heard. Who came out first, you or Kale? Kale had already come down here. Kale okay. was playing with Honey Brown at the time. Ah. And he moved down to Austin. Uh, and he right with Honey Brown. Yeah, and he was living with another buddy of mine, Quentin, Quentin Denon, a drummer. And then I came down and Kale and I moved in together uh, with my brother, just on the other side of uh, 35 and Slaughter. And we lived together. It's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been down this far in a long time. Uh, but we lived together for about a year, I think. and. Uh, so no, yeah, Kel was one of the first ones down here. And then Blake Atwell, actually. Blake had come down also a little bit before me. Wait, Blake is 
from that area also? Where's, where, where, where's Blake from? Blake is originally from Fredericksburg, but he also went to South. Barefoot Blake, we love you, man. I'm sorry you couldn't make it. God bless you. Love the baby. So, and Barefoot Blake, you know, I was like, I was hoping he was to be here because I was going to just, like, take off his shoes. <laughs> so, <laughs> he... Did he take off his shoes for your show? Was he? I, did he go barefoot? I don't. I don't think he did. I don't think he did either. But I've been at to Moon Tower, and in fact, I've got. Uh, did you do? Home, is home? Is that the Johnny Cash kind of sound? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I still have the very first time you said we're doing this. We've never performed it live. You did it at Moon That's Tower. That's home. Home. Like recorded. I've got the video of it. Oh, and you actually asked, you were like, hey, do you have the cameras? I'm like, yeah. And I was like, hey, okay, so I'm going to do the song we've never done before. It's uh, it's something that works, and you had to record it for me. And so I recorded Home, and I've got this badass 1080p version of Home. And I didn't, I did not post it like Blaster for the World. Thank you. Because... <laughs> You're welcome, whatever. I, 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 some of the shit I hesitate and I like out of respect for you. I'm like, oh, fine, I won't post it. But then I listen to it, I'm like, oh, this shit's badass. Well, thank you. So I recorded it and then I sent it to you and it, it actually ended up like with 18 views. And I was like, well, Bobby keeps watching the shit out of that for 18 views. I don't think I've ever seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Y'all can laugh. I mean, it's okay. So I, okay. I don't know, I think, but this is a long time ago from Moon Tower. I mean, we're talking about two, three, four, five years ago. Yeah. And you played, it was a cold night at Moon Tower. And oh, oh, you know, you know like, and it was, it was the very first time you ever did Home Live. And you were, I don't remember that, but I remember Blake being, like, stuck in the wind tunnel. And... <laughs> His hands were so cold. That yes, was so and then he's not. And, and why he insisted on taking just like oh, I'm gonna take off my shoes and I'm just gonna go barefoot. And I'm like, Fuck, did he that night? Yes. I, I, I looked at the video and I was like, fucking Blake with no shoes on again. Huh? He just loves the feel of the carpet in his feet. I don't know. Um, so my husband's feeling a little parched. Oh, oh. Like, so she was getting just for the same. Yeah, it's because. <laughs> 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 By the way, for everyone really watching, oil. this oh, is beer number true. three. We're good. And there's a whiskey. So we have three beers and a whiskey. I'm not keeping track of Bobby because. Because I'm taking a nap after I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, and we have food afterwards. We're gonna I have asked Kathy if it would be cool if I like came down and put down a half gallon of ice cream in front of all you guys. And she was like, don't Blue do that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't drink very much, but I'll I'll eat any of you. Yeah, okay. we've, we've got a lot of food. At your CD release party, uh, the recent one for this album. So we're sitting there, Marissa and our daughter is with us, and we're watching. And Marissa is like, "Does Bobby play guitar?" <laughs> That's and, a great question. No, it is, but it was. It was because I'm like, well, I'll bring one to every show. Yeah, and you no, know, and you play. And so, <laughs> as she asks that, and I was like, and I looked at her, and I was like, what? It, kind of like that. Wait, wait, what did you just ask me? And I turn around and look, and there you are on stage. You're putting on the guitar, and all. And I looked at her, and I looked back, and she's like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> did you notice that the amp was off? <laughs> yeah. No, she was like, it wasn't plugged in. It wasn't acoustic. It wasn't plugged in. There was no mic. Yeah. yeah. No. It had no strings. <laughs> so here's, here's the thing with guitar. I joke around all the time with my guys about. So and Blake and I had a pretty extensive conversation about this the other day. I want to play guitar so bad. Do it. But to me, it's it's a tool, and I every time I sit down and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wish it, and I'm gonna, you know, Steve Williams was my guitar guitar instructor in college, and man, Steve, I was probably the worst student in the world because I hate practicing. I hate studying for school. I hate practicing guitar. And so I think you can do it or you can. Well, I pick up a guitar, and anytime I do that to practice, it turns into a songwriting session. It's like, oh, well, I just did that back and forth. And it's like, ADD happens, and I'm writing a song. And, and it's never, it never turns into practice. Um, in fact, that's how Home, I know we keep talking about that song, that's how Home got written. I was actually I watching Jack White on <laughs> on a YouTube video, and it was like him doing this cool blues shit, and I was like, oh, I want to do that, and, um, and, then, and then it turned into me writing home, and so it just, 
it's just not meant to be. I'm gonna keep bringing it on stage. Yeah, okay. Keep so at it, but I, I can I I can't play guitar. She taught herself <laughs> how to play guitar over there. I come home one day, and she's and everybody watching and seeing the show before has heard the story. I come home and there's three by five index cards all over. The, I was like, what the? Hell? And she's sitting in the office and she's playing. She looks at me. And she's playing. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, oh well, look, she's freaking transcribing. Oh. I was like. Do, I know guys that are on stage all the time and can play and how to do this and she's all like, oh yeah, this is, and she, I was like, god damn, okay. I learned how to play tangents because I knew <laughs> you are going to sing and I'll play, alright? So, yes. Yeah, so, I don't think that's okay. But, <laughs> but, but the crazy thing Not is that, I do. But, that you're all like, oh, well, I don't play guitar. You know what? If if I was if if I knew how to play guitar, and then sitting to the left of me was Blake Atwell, and then to the right of me was Kale Richardson, I would be like, I don't know how to play. I can't play. Sorry. Yeah, but you know what? Honestly, All my fingers are broke. You're totally right. But the, those guys, though, I would say they are the sweetest human beings in the world, and they're the most they encouraging. Uh, and they like they are my my brothers. They know like it's it's an ongoing joke. I mean, there's not any amount of like insecurity or embarrassment. I I'm happy to get up there and screw up any chord from those guys. It's not a big deal at all. Uh, it, it's really not that. It's not an intimidation thing at all. It's just like again, it's like oh, I need to practice more and I know write songs. So Dude, it's only been but here's the thing. Come on, man. Ten years, twelve years. But to your point, to your point, when I when I write a song though. It's like I can sit by myself and get really frustrated trying to play this, or I can go bam, 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 and then and I can do that on the phone and I can send it to Blake. And the guys will all attest to oh, that, and they're like, uh, and they get it, and they're like right away, like, oh, here's what you get, yeah. and send it back to you. Yeah, and then they and then they can play it, and they, I'm like, why? It's just, it's like this logical thing in my brain where it's like, why learn? I can just get these guys. So I'm <laughs> that's uh, it, that sounds like the epic world of anything is like, well, why do I have to do that? I can, play, I can do this piece and go like, hey Rudy, do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, set it all up like that. Thanks, sir. Those guys, <laughs> they, they just get it, man. And I, and I, I wrote a long post about this on Facebook the other night because I hadn't really ever talked about it and, and I wanted to get it off my chest, but I'm super lucky to have you know the group of guys and friends that I have that play with me and there's so many in Austin that I get to play with. Uh, some that I've only recorded with and I love to play with live, you know, Kevin Platt for example, she's a phenomenal musician and I, I'm just hey, Platt. that that's my thing. I, I am a, a super, super, super lucky guy. And I have this, this amazing pool of guys that just get it and are, are phenomenal at what they do. That can say, Hey, can you do this? Kevin, man, I sent speaking of Kevin, I sent him the songs and he was like, Let me let me throw some stuff together. And he did that at his house. And if you listen to Imagine or um, Play on Imagine, he killed it on Imagine. And he put it on John. And if you listen to that stuff, it sounds like I have this big, badass horn set. And it's all Kevin. And it's all Kevin. Yeah. Dude, um, K Flat, we love you, sir. And uh, you're, Kevin, coming, I you're, you're, you're coming to do the show. I think Kevin's probably playing somewhere right now. But Kevin, I went by your house and tried to drop a CD off. and. Dude, you live like on a scary part of William Cannon where it's like there's no oh. place to pull in, and I was like, I, I thought I was gonna get run over. Yeah, I, I didn't stop. With the well, season. that, and I think it's like you gotta turn in the alley behind the houses. Oh, that what it is? I didn't know. Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can't stop anywhere. I was like, I'm driving from the grass. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> See, <this> is, <laughs> cheers to Kevin. This is cheers to Kevin Flat. Cheers, Kevin. There you go, AK Flat. Um, but so the, the crazy thing is that this is what's funny about drinking, and this is why I like the show. So I'm leaving here one day. I pull out. And I look across the street, and there's this guy walking across the street carrying Taiwan China bag. And I was like, damn, that looks like K Flat. And the guy driving is like, what? And I was like, that looks like Kevin Flat. And he's like, who? And I was like, don't worry about it. That's <laughs> Kevin Flat. And we turn and we drive away. And so I'm on the phone texting. I'm like, dude, are you just crossing the way you can? He's like, and then Kevin's all like, yeah, I just went got Taiwan. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so he literally lives across yeah. the street from me, and yeah, it's in duplexes. And if you don't know how to turn in, it's the entrance is on the back side. Google Maps didn't give any hints about yeah. this is going to be scary. That part, so yeah. yeah, he forgot to tell you that. Oh, by the way, I live in a scary part of the <laughs> Don't try to stop. You get run over. Yeah. To you on the new album. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, All right, everybody. 
Thank you very much for tuning in to that episode of Three Beers and Whiskey featuring Bobby Bookout. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos from Three Beers and Whiskey. Thank you.